Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Watch Dogs Wednesday. Uh, tonight, we will be continuing our ca our campaign through Watch Dogs Legion. Um, I hope you all have had a great week so far. We're about halfway through. Uh, hey, Yvonne, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, hope you're doing well. I uh, hope all of you are doing well, not just you, Yvonne, but I hope everybody is doing well. Um, but uh, yeah, couple housekeeping things before we get properly started. Linktree has my socials, Discord, and uh, uh, has my socials, Discord, YouTube, Throne, Patreon, as well as my Twitch link if you're watching this elsewhere, and so on and so forth. Uh, Patreon and Throne are places where you can support me without having to go through Twitch if you so choose. And if not, that's perfectly fine. I won't hold it against you in any way. Hold on, I have a big old thumbprint in the middle of my glasses that I missed. All right. Uh, let's see here. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um. That's honestly all that's coming to mind. Uh, so honestly, let's go ahead and get fucking started. I don't have any other reason to <laughs> to delay. Uh, continue. I've done a decent bit of grinding over the last week since last stream. Um, so I'm excited. A decent bit of, of grinding. Are you ready for a new operation? Sure. Could you use the work cam? All right, so first things first, I gave Aiden a shave. Get him in the light. See, gave him a shave. He's I, I left him stubbly because he kind of was stubbly in the first in the in the first game. So I left him stubbly, but I uh, gave him a shave, got rid of that massive ass beard on his face. Um, beyond that, <coughs> Yvonne B and I did a little bit of um, customization on Madeline's outfit. Not her outfit, her look. Uh, we, cha we gave her some uh, new piercings, some makeup, and some new hair. Um, I did a little bit on Maddie here, and by a little bit, I mean I gave her a whole makeover. New earrings, new hair, new hat, new clothes. As I said here with Aiden, I... Yeah, I'm really proud with how Maddie turned out. I, I had 20,000 currency up here and dropped it most of it on her um we've got aiden here with his uh shaved face um mina's looking how mina always looks for now uh wrench i can't bring myself to mess with wrench's look it's it's just perfection um patricia i did a little bit of futzing around with patricia's outfit um Nancy, I left how she, or Helen, not Nancy. Why do I keep calling her Nancy in my head? Helen, the retiree, looking pretty great. I also did a lot of recruiting that we didn't have before. So I picked up Violet. Um, she's a second construction worker like Patricia. Um, and uh, I picked her up purely by accident. Um, I happened to complete her, mis her recruitment mission uh, while I was doing some running around and, and, uh, resource gathering. So, like, as you can see here, uh, compare, compared to some of the other locations, right? You can see, like, all kinds of, like, pickups and things to attract attention and bypass to go get and all of that. With Westminster, uh, these are, tel uh, these are fast travel locations. Some side missions that are just uh, never-ending type stuff, just to grind money if I so choose. Oh, I did miss that. 
completely missed that one that file over there uh so i'll go get that at some point and maybe not oh and there's actually a couple of things i missed oh wow huh but yeah for the most part i got pretty much everything but yeah i did miss a, a few a few things uh oh well anyway um back to the team so introducing violet we also now have Enric or Enric. He is a professional hitman. You know, because I needed one of those. Right? Because I needed one of those. And then we have Celine Lau, cryptocurrency analyst. Uh, she was one of the ones that I had listed and tagged on stream uh, purely because of the fact that she's got that skilled investor thing to help me gain more money. We've got Dennis on magazine vendor. Uh, he gave me a, a he gave me money when I recruited him, but the main reason I recruited him was for the clothing discounts. Um, now we have a medical assistant here, uh, Trudy Ward. She's um, she has uniformed access to medical facilities and provides a shorter injury time recovery time for uh my team now we have dominic pat uh, watson who is a politician i also recruited him for his uh skilled investor earn more money thing from what i've heard those stack from what i've been able to find online those stack which is why i have two of them uh, if not he's absolutely gonna hit bricks um now i have um ava baker who is a first responder um she has her own uniform uh and also has this medical shield uh as well as takes less damage overall now we have this transient megan sims salutes ava because she's a first responder absolutely <laughs> we have megan sims who is a transient she creates social media bots for the fun of it uh she also has the skilled investor thing uh she has a 6g data plan which means any downloads i have her do they're faster um and she's a berserker which means that she <laughs> you can when you have her defeat enemies it heals her up <laughs> i love her so much but yeah if if the skilled investors do not stack like I read that I read that they do online, but if they don't, I'm the other two are going to the other two skilled investors are going to be gone and I'm going to be keeping Megan. Um, I also I found this is the I recruited this one on stream. Lauren King. Uh, she's the Albion chick that I recruited on stream. I did. Um, I she was the other one like Maddie, who I completely changed the uh, changed the design for um, her hair used to be shorter uh and a different color um gave her some makeup some nice earrings i really like those earrings um gave her an what i find to be a awesome uh uh hoodie that's the word um gave her some uh gave her some uh what are they fuck, what are they called um sports clothing sportsy clothing because she's a bit of a boxer type of character um but as you can see here she gets albion access uh she has gas she's immunity to gas explosives she has a shotgun and the light but the baton i also gave her um a gad one of our, uh, a gadget that one hit ko's enemies um next we have nikki here who is a web developer um she's got the fast hacking stuff where her hacks have cool down have a faster cooldowns and she has fast downloads um now maddie is kind of a getaway driver type of thing because she's got that she's got her own personal sports vehicle and is immune to chase drones this this guy here alex jones he is a professional getaway driver 
not only does he come with his own car and and drone immunity he has a hack that clears the vehicles on the road out of the way yes alex jones yes alex jones alex jones no relation <laughs> alex drones but not that one <laughs> alex jones but better <laughs> Um, Alex Jones, but not a toad. <clears throat> but anyway, the reason I got him, I picked him up was because of the clear the way hack here, where when he's running, when he's driving, he has a uh, hack, which will automatically move all cars within a radius to the sides of the road to clear his way so that he could just power on through. And I've used it a few times while, uh, uh, in between the stream. And then here's this wonderful, amazing human being here, Heather Turner, professional anarchist. <laughs> um, she comes with a smoke grenade, studded truncheon, gas immunity because of because of her bandana. Um, she has sticky fingers, which means that anytime she picks up ammo, she also gets fucking money for it. But now, uh, she is another one who I changed, mostly changed, completely changed the look for. Uh, I will actually uh, show you her original look at some point. Uh, both her and... Shit, where'd she go? Her and Lauren, I want to show you guys what she, they used to look like. Um, and then I, fi I recruited a spy because, you know, I need one. Um, she comes with a spy car, which comes with missiles and cloaking device, a spy watch, which will jam enemy weapons, and a silenced pistol. Because, you know. <laughs> um, and then here's Zanab Ibrahim. Probably butchered that name. She has a megaphone to rally people to fight. Tear gas, bandana. And she has extra damage against the Kelly, uh, Clan Kelly gang. I recruited a detective inspector. I recruited a cop, so we have police station access. And also, because of her, uh, my people are arrested, are not as rest arrested as long. <clears throat> and then lastly, I recruited a member of Clan Kelly. So I now have uniformed access to Ke Clan Kelly locations. Uh, but when she gets arrested, because she's a known criminal, she ends up uh, for uh, with longer arrest times. She has a fucking LMG, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> we're not going to fuck with her. Now, I do have some potential recruits I did not pick up. I have a soldier here who I want to pick up at some point. Um, though I'm holding off on actually picking her up. Her name is Leah Green, who is a professional soldier. Um, Alexander Baranowski, who is a professional hacker. I literally came across this guy sitting outside of an Albion headquarters building, just hacking, just typing on a laptop and mumbling to himself about hacking things. And I'm like, bruh, you got balls. I'm gonna fucking, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking uh, pick you up. But he also had these bio things, uh, not bio things, uh, perks, that's what they're called. Viral hacking, uh, shock hacked, and the key steal. Uh, we also have this street artist here. Yes, it looks like his eyeball got blown up, but no, it's just paint on his uh, face mask, I checked. Uh, he comes with a paintball gun and a paint bomb. But we now we have here a beekeeper. She is a drone specialist. Freya Robertson is a drone specialist who controls swarms of bees, of bee drones. She has anti -shock, she has an anti shock suit, so she's immune to shock. Right? Exactly. Uh, she has a unique weapon called the Overcharger. However, she tends to be a bit gassy at times. And Yvonne, I told you about this. I told you about this perk. 
she she's a flatulent. She's flatulent. She occasionally farts, which will alert nearby enemies to her location. <laughs> this game is a fucking trip, y'all. She's the gassy one. Exactly. It just means I can't send her in to do stealthy shit, which is fine. I wouldn't be doing that at anyway, because I will will have an assassin and I have a spy. Oh, wrong one. Spy. I have a literal spy and an assassin on my hand, as well as a professional vigilante. So I won't be sending her in to do stealthy shit. Now, speaking of drone experts, we have a proper drone expert here. She comes with her own shock drone that she can summon. She can um, hack uh, enemy drones to make them switch sides. She also has homing drones that will dive bomb people. And she has improved stealth because she's got the light step thing. And now we have this lady. Ms. Mel Williams. I don't remember. I don't think I told you about this one, Yvonne. Yeah, no, I have. I haven't touched her because uh, I haven't recruited her yet. Recruited her yet? She's a potential recruit, but like, you know, I'm honestly kind of hoping I find other sex workers because I want to recruit a sex worker because sex work is real work, and you know they deserve to be part of the revolution because I don't like her perks. She comes with a personal sports vehicle, fine, but the shopaholic where she will randomly buy clothes, I looked it up. It means that she will randomly take group money and spend it on clothes out of nowhere. No warning, no information. It'll just be suddenly I'm out like 2000 e Edo, uh, ETO and have a new jacket in my inventory so i'm like i kind of want to avoid that you know um so i would like i would absolutely love to have a sex worker in my group i would just prefer i would just prefer not to have someone who has the shopaholic feet so that's why i haven't actually recruited her yet but anyway first missions first we're our goal for today is at first to pick it to, to uh recruit Ms. Darcy Clarkson here. That is the goal for today's stream. If I can do that today, I'll be extremely happy. But first, I promised that you guys I would show you what Lauren King and that other chick looks like. Originally looked like. Good news, it's time to put your life on the line for the resistance. Almost thought you forgot me. So this is what her Albion outfit looks like. I've been trying for the life of me to um, actually change this to one of the other Albion outfits, but apparently you can't actually do that. You can have her casually wearing the other Albion outfit, but you can't just have her just randomly you know, I'm going the wrong way. This is the building I need to go in. No, it's not. Is it? I'm so turned around. Yes. Oh my god. Buttons. What are buttons? So yeah, the main thing is I'm going to show her her show y'all her default hair. Wrong wrong thing. I want wardrobe and then hair. That's her default hair. And while it's not bad, it looks like a comb over. That's her default coat. Default shirt, default pants, but she does have this Albion outfit, right? I prefer that to this one. However, 
And I would love it, love it, if I could have it that when I have her go undercover, she wears this one, not this one. But I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to get her to wear this, uh, to get her to wear this one. Now I could have her just wear it on the street, but why would you want to be in your work clothes every day, you know? Now then, who was the other one I was gonna show you? It was her. Let me remove the hat real quick. First off, let's look at this gorgeous woman here. Um, but, uh, yeah, the... Let me show you her default outfit. It's this. This is her default outfit. Not much in the way of difference, but, uh... I needed to get rid of the backpack, and I needed to get rid of the the mask. Uh, I, I I don't mind the mask. I just don't want her wearing it all the time. And it wouldn't. And if I had this selected, it wouldn't let me uh, go uh, give her the same one I give to everybody else, which is this one. Well, not everybody else. Most everybody else depends on their outfits. But yeah. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, we were actually going to swap back to Aiden and let's actually get the show on the road. I hope this isn't a bad time, but we need your particular skill set for something. Lead the way. Um Aiden? Aiden? <laughs> okay, well we're going to teleport away for a second. <laughs> There we go. Uh, he was in the process of spawning into the map and when I swapped to him and so it showed up as in the uh, in another uh, in, in inside a building. Okay, we're looking for into the assassin. That's the one we want. Uh... Dead tech has caught, have caught wind of the ongoing conflict between the Assassin Brotherhood and the Templar Order. Bigger than anything Dead tech has seen before, the only way to learn more is to follow the strange drone flying around London. Track down the drone and download more data from it. Uh -huh. Alright. Nope, I was in the right spot, actually. All right, Bagley, what's up? Tell me about this assassin. What's going on? How should I say this? I seem to have come across some sort of ancient conflict. The recording you heard came from a strange drone flying around the city. The names of the groups in conflict are obvious enough. Assassins and Templars. But there is no record of either of them online, not even in the furthest fringes of the dark web. So, either these are LARPers with very active imaginations, or we are dealing with two groups that are older and more powerful than we can possibly imagine. We should it's check it out. Good idea. Connie's been helping analyze the data I pulled from the drone. I'm sure she's champing at the bit to tell you more. Thanks, Bagley. Who are you? Talk to me. I've been following up on the few clues we got from that recording. Assassins, Templars, this Lucas... You know what I just realized? I don't think we've actually met her yet in the storyline. Because <laughs> I don't know her! ...fella, and the strange drone we got the recording from. 
Not much to find on the first three, but that drone, it's a doozy. What do you mean? It wasn't made by any of the big weapons manufacturers. It's got no serial number, no identifying tags of any kind. I found a proxy to its schematics, and the design is mental. I also found enough GPS to put together a flight path. Whatever's going on here, it's big. You better find that thing. Agreed. He looks so much better without that beard. So how's how you doing, Yvonne? And anybody else in chat who wants to talk? Okay, it is right there. Oh shit. Oh shit, I am so sorry, sir. Please walk it off. As long as you don't get run over by a bus. Ah, he's gonna be fine. Our analysis of the drone's five parts suggests it's in the area. Have a look around. There's the drone. I need to form a comms bridge before I can permanently access it. I couldn't complete the bridge, but I was able to download part of the drone's cache history. This is the earliest entry. Don't go, Lucas. If the Templars find you in London, they will kill you. None of us will be safe anymore. To hell we're safe. If our ancestors could go up against the Templars on their own, then so can I. God, I am sick of hearing about what heroes Jacob and Evie Fry were. Darcy, if you're not going to help me defend the tomb, then don't get in my way. Don't follow me. Don't do anything. Goodbye. You're tired? Finally, some information I can find online. Jacob and Evie Fry, notorious twin gangsters who took over London in the 1860s, killed some industrialists because called... Keeper? Crawford Starrick. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, what about that tomb, though? I wonder what that could be. You found our drone friend. Time for another go at that comms bridge. Our analysis of the drone's five parts suggests it's in the area. Have a look around. Found it. Couldn't quite seal the deal, but I did get us some more cash. I found you, you bastard. I know where you've got my brother, and I'm coming to get him. Well, hurry up then. This doubles my chances of getting the location of the tomb before the day is out. I think I'll strap you into a chair next to your brother. I'm dying for you to see what I've done with him. <laughs> Keep talking like that and I'll make sure your death is a painful one. That conversation was recorded mere minutes ago. We may be able to lend a hand before it's too late. Our analysis of the drone's five parts suggests it's in the area. Have a look around. Do we do up? Do we do up? Up. I mean, that's fair. You did a lot today. At least I think you did. Comms established. Hello. Anyone there? You found me. About time. Making yourself traceable while still staying hidden is harder than it sounds. I'm with DedSec. We're here to help. I guessed as much. I don't know anyone else capable of hacking and tracking like that. I assume you've heard what's been happening. If you want to help me save my brother, then meet me at this location, face to face. So, Darcy, you and your brother are assassins, and your brother's been taken by the Templars. How did all this start, anyway? Sorry, I don't really have the time for a history lesson. Let's just say the Assassin Brotherhood stands for freedom for all, and the Templar Order does not. Although I'm ashamed to say the Brotherhood has seen better days. There's only a few of us left hiding outside the city. Meanwhile, the Templars have a hand in nearly every part of London. 
all except the tomb of the assassins. And while your group is on the ropes, your brother thought the best course of action was to come to London and stir up trouble. Sounds a lot like us, actually. Yeah. Like y'all are essentially the same thing and we're meant to be and we're meant to actually be connected. Oh wait, was that too meta? Alright, who's assaulting somebody? You're assaulting somebody. Area clear. All units, I repeat, all units. We have reports of a hostile in your area. Over. Received, mobilizing now. Out. We are inbound. Stand by. You're gonna eat legs. No, I'm not. Stay alive. Trailing the target. Okay, so actually, I'm having trouble fi figuring out how to get up there, so. Sure about that? Control, I can't see the suspect. Please advise. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Search units, disengage. This search is pointless. There we go. The Dead Sec and the Assassins. Did you ever imagine this happening? Yes. Definitely. So what do we do? Lucas is being held by the Templars in that police station. I've been trying this security, I love her but hair. I imagine you're better suited for this sort of thing. If you can hack I in and find my brother, hair. I'll infiltrate and get him out. How does that sound? Fine, I'm on it. Yvonne, we're approaching look the at her hair. For the police station. Now that we're connected, I'll be able to see inside the building with you. Once I know where Lucas is, I'll take over. <clears throat> yeah let, let's see if i can get a decent look at it in here nope not with the hood up all right once i recruit her we'll, we'll one of the first things we'll do is we'll get a closer look at the hair <clears throat> okay we need to get up this will do That can't be good. Save me. Yeah, this is this is good. This is this is yikes. Okay. Uh oh, don't crash. Okay.
There you are. Come on. Lower. You see me. Let's piss on some Templars. How's that sound? Back here. Good. There's the target. You can download from there. I love that they're using Assassin's Creed music. I think the song that's actually playing is from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Not a good thing. Okay. Oh, Killy Dokily. Assassin is in the police station. We'll find him. <clears throat> no, maybe you can enlighten me about something. Why is it that time and time again that the assassins are reduced to nothing? Pirates, hermits, street thugs. All these brushes with extinction, you would think you people would learn from your mistakes. I don't know. What's your take? <laughs> I've already told you where the tomb is and what's hidden inside it. I would rather die than hear another word from you, you sadistic prick. Oh, we'll get to that. Believe me. But first things first, I want you alive when my team finds a way into your precious tomb. I want you to watch as we claim the last assassin stronghold for the Templar Order. Hmm. Keep searching the Buckingham grounds. We'll find a way in. And may the Father of Understanding guide us. No! I'll kill him! I don't think that would be wise. Security's been notified of our intrusion. Time to bugger off. 
so now this is an interesting thing, right? So occasionally you can get these missions for fucking photographic evidence and stuff, but you can't just like interact with it and get the stuff done. So what do you do? You come in here, camera. It's basically the in-game photo mode, but it had, but it actually does like stuff in addition to that. Pretty great. I, th I like that. It's clever. Seems Ooh, Albion has hi. a surveillance network in Lambeth that makes 1980s East Germany look like present-day East Germany. I'm sure the people of Lambeth will be interested to know just how closely they are being watched. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Go get back on my drone, shall we? Nothing to it. Hope the next thing's harder than that, or I'm gonna get bored. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Fair. <laughs> All right, Bagley. Fair enough. I appreciate Bagley's to-the-point nature. I'm sure you'll get used to it yourself. The new creed. You ready? We've no time to waste. Did a bit of research on that Templar we caught monologuing earlier. Seemed like a safe bet. Graham Westall is his name, intelligence liaison to the Crown. He runs the SRS office of in Buckingham is. Palace, and it seems has been hunting for the Tomb of the Assassins on behalf of the Templars. Westerly made his name overseas for his ability to extract information from detainees, along with their teeth and fingernails. One hell of a tosser to go up against. If the Templars plan to take over the Tomb of the Assassins, then that's where I'll bring the fight. Westerly told his people to search the Buckingham Palace grounds. That must be where the tomb is hidden. Meet me there, and we'll find a way in. I'm on it. It makes sense that they would be at the Buckingham Palace grounds because um, in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, that's they, uh, Jacob and Evie Fry had a very close uh, connection to the crown. Right. Should I just teleport over there? Yes. Teleport! I'm still doing the scan. What's it look like up here? Scanning. Stand fast. Get this way. It's clear. Now get out of my space. An American just casually walking into Buckingham Palace Gardens. It's fine, you know. <laughs> Shit! We've got guards all over the place. 
Of course we do. Been busy. I'm picking up some radio chatter from the guards. I mean, the entrance to the palace. tomb is behind a large stone slab that nobody's been able to move. I can move it. I know I can. But first, you have to help me clear out these guards. That's our move, then. <laughs> Alright, let me do kit this. All right, let's see what we got to help out here. Uh, you know, what? because we're dealing with Templars and shit, let me just pop out here real quick. Not Aiden's first time dealing with them. We are going to do some editing of stuff here. That. We have anything silenced? We do. The P9 silenced pistol. That will do. Okay. It's an LMG. 47. Uh, Eagle. Uh, go with that. And that. There's no sign of them. Send a description with the report. Oh, you're just a standard cop. That's not your fault for being here. Don't kill him. Okay. Now you guys, you guys, however, You guys need to die, because you're Templars. You're not just Albion, you're Templars. Investigation. Quit. What was that? Fuck! I have to make things interesting. That's one way to do the job. Well, okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. Wrench, you need a free Aiden. Let's go. I didn't realize the barrel right next to me that I was hiding behind was explosive. Into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that bad, then you'll be my favorite operative today. Remind me to make fun of them when let go. Shit. We've got guards all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. What do we got here? Princess Ratatat. Non-lethal SMG. Nope, nope, we want lethal. Uh, nope. That one, that one's the one we're gonna go with. You know what? No, we're gonna go for the fucking missile drone. <laughs> all over the place. Westerly's been busy. I'm picking up some radio from the guards. The entrance to the tomb is behind a large stone slab that nobody's been able to move. I can move it. I know I can. But first, you have to help me clear out these guards. Cool. Let's do that. Not 
bad at all. Shit, hi. Huh, that's one way to do the job. Right there. Okay. Oh shit, let's go! Bitches. That's all the guards down, but we need to buy Darcy more time. Scrambling the security system ought to do it. There we are. It's all up to you now, Darcy. Hell yeah! Alright, let's get into the light and I can show off her hair. Yeah. Alright, you can do this. Her makeup is fire. Her hair is fire. Her outfit is fire. Agreed. Like, I don't have long hair and I could tell that that would be a pain in the ass. Leap up, man! I can't believe I've never been down here before. Oh, what's taken me so long? Isn't that interesting? Jacob Fry. Lucas would have loved this. The other fella, is that who I think it is? I'll worry about that in a second. But I'm nosy as shit. That's Edward Kenway. That's a statue of Edward Kenway over there. 
and might even be his uh, sarcophagus. That's Jacob. Okay, so Jacob's statue has that weird H under it. I didn't look to see if Edward's statue had something under it. Doesn't look like it. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Kenway. Weird Y looking fucking thing. All right, let's go investigate these actual properly. <clears throat> now, I will say, spoilers for Assassin's Creed Syndicate when we get there. Um, Evie Fry marries uh, an, an assassin from India and goes and uh, returns to India with him and builds up that assassin or uh, brotherhood a bit. Um, before returning to London when her brother goes missing. Um, I don't think she stayed. I think she returned home to her home in India. So, but I, so I don't think she got, would have gotten buried here, but I could be wrong about that. I cannot get over her design. All right, so an eagle drone. There's Evie, at least a statue to her. Statue to get Edward Kenway, who was buried in England, London, last I knew, or if I knew, if I remember correctly, and Jacob. All right. We've got a big old first one's door here. Yeah, it doesn't look like Evie got buried here. Because it doesn't look like there's a sarcoph there was a sarcophagus here. But I could be wrong.
We are D. Didn't his also have a weird H symbol under it? Yeah, it's got that weird H symbol, too. The weird Y. Oh, wait. And there's a second Eevee one. Oh, boy. Complicated. Why you gotta go and make things so complicated? Ba -da 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 -da. Acting like you're somebody else has got me frustrated. Whoever designed this tomb, either in universe or in real life, like, well, not or, but like, and in real life, the the person who designed the level in the game is really good at their jobs and they deserve a pay raise, in my opinion. Um, this is beautiful. Um, but the, uh, and in universe, whoever designed this tomb is a genius. <sighs> okay. All right. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. I, I bet. I bet. I bet. Let me look. This statue is missing his gun, so it's not the right statue. This statue has both the gun and the sword, so it's the three circles. I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. They're making me work for it, and I approve. I approve. Okay. All right, so Edward is done on to... Because there's also this one, but this one's missing his sword. Yes gun, no sword. That's smart, that's smart. Okay. All right, we need to find the Jacob statue that has the cane and the gauntlet. There's cane and gauntlet. Uh compare it to the actual Jacob statue here. Pain and gauntlet, that looks to be the only thing. So, that is... the weird Y thing. Nope. Oh! I apparently had Eevee correct, too. This place gets curiouser and curiouser. What other secrets are hiding down here? There was an EV one over here. Somewhere.
There. Nope, that's Jacob. And he doesn't have his cane, just the gauntlet. Well, I know I saw a second Eevee statue right here. And she's got gauntlet but no gun, so yeah. God, that was a satisfying puzzle. Gorgeous. All right, hold that thought a second. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I think I missed one over there. But maybe it'll take me back. Yeah. I'm hoping this isn't timed and it's just a fun little chase. Sounds like she's gonna be sick every time you know she gets hurt. Oh no, I know what I should have done. I'm an idiot. Fuck me. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? groan makes it sound like she's gonna be sick not that she's actually hurting 
So I guess the voice acting could be a smidge better. Deep breaths, I got this. Yeah. Yes, you are correct. I do have this. I do got this. Okay, so I ran up here. Came from down there. Here we go. No. Yes, actually. Okay. Damn it, girl. It's not your fault. Not your fault. I probably pushed the wrong button. Or didn't run at it just right. Yo! Yo! Okay, so I bet they didn't construct this part. I bet the assassins found this, utilized it, and then built the tomb on top of it to protect the entrance to it. I bet that's what they did, because that's what the t what t assassins usually did. Yo! Girl got an upgrade! I can't believe it. It fits. Why are you all knowing? Girl got an upgrade! Haunted and sus? I mean... That's 90% of Assassin and Templar stuff, to be fair. Yes, now. Recover the artifact. The intruder is to be shot on sight. Understand? Yes, sir. Shit. If I don't get out of here, I am done for. All right, so I now have... I would like to pull up my weapon wheel, please. There we go. The iconic assassin weapon improves melee and takes down takes down enemies from any angle. Yes, uh, please. Eagle drone. 
Assassin training, avoid detection for longer while in stealth. Double tap, double tap space to perform combat rolls. Hidden gun darts. Poison dart ammunition that causes human targets to go berserk. Automatically reloads when while host, holstered. And high damage ammunition automatically reloads while holstered. <laughs> AR disguise. Assume the look of a soldier with access to restricted locations. Also affects nearby allies in multiplayer. Yeah, boy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. The intruder is still here. Find her. She may have already found the artifact. Look. Regret, 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 regret. Trying to use the hidden Save blade to later. kill the guy, to kill Graham. with a mask is terrifying get out of the fire get out of the fire Ready. Hiding just means I'll hurt you more later. Oh, I'm missed. God, that thing takes forever to reload.
No, you are, Graham. Come here, bitch. I was close a bit yeah I I I need to do something about the coat the coat the physics on the coat are a little wonky all right where am I supposed to be going oh shoot ah! I didn't realize there was one left. I was like, why is the music still going? Sounds that was good. even closer. that move she pulled where she hooked her leg around their neck pulled them down and then shanked them with the hidden blade hidden blade that was a pretty damn amazing move <clears throat> Yas Queen. You know, the whole hood and robe look hasn't been in for a few centuries. Perhaps you don't understand what's happening here. I've killed you. You're dead. And I get to die having lived a successful life. Which is more than I can say about your cowardly brotherhood. Watch yourself. You know. I would have so much more respect for you and your people if you refused my offer to leave the city. If you just stayed and fought. Killing me won't change anything. The Templars are everywhere. And your brotherhood is too scared to ever come back. You want my advice? Find better people to fight with. Shouldn't be that hard. Now, interesting thing about Watch Dogs Legion, right? Oh, fuck him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Interesting thing about Watch Dogs Legion, it's very definitely in a dystopian future. It takes place in, I think it was 2029 or something like that. Um, and he... It's in a future where everything's gone to shit, obviously. And it makes sense that it would also be an alternate future where the assassins have essentially given up, you know? It makes sense to me. Oh, wait. Wrong way. What's this way?
A new mask. I have Darcy's signal. Hey, I think I lost you down there. What happened? Westerly's dead and the tomb is safe for now. There's no way I can leave the city. If my ancestors could take on the Templars, then so can I. But I need a brotherhood. Not to put anyone on the spot, but dead sex a brotherhood of sorts, isn't it? Brotherhood, sisterhood, siblinghood, whateverhood, really. If you're willing to stand up for the city, we're happy to have you. And I won't lie, it really doesn't hurt that you seem to be some kind of ninja with ancient superpowers. We definitely <laughs> don't have one of those yet. Hmm. I'll take it under advisement. Valid. All right. All right. All right, Thirsty. Let's see what we got here now. <laughs> I'm enjoying this way too much. Hey. Welcome to the team. I must say, I'm rather looking forward to the experience. Let's go hunt some baddies. Cool beans. Cool beans, he says. Test me, you goddamn codger. He taught wrench. Mr. Robot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bagley, yes, absolutely. Um, but I love that wrench was just like, hey, you're an ancient ninja assassin warrior who could absolutely kick my ass in half a second flat. <laughs> cool beads. <laughs> All right, okay. Your somewhat reckless teammate has got themselves thrown in the old clink, I'm afraid. Difficult to resist oppression yeah, from behind yeah, bars. Yeah. It will be a while before they're available. Pro tip, however, why not recruit a barrister to the team? I mean, no. I already have someone like that. I don't need to recruit another one. Um, besides, Aiden's literally already out. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> Exactly but no, we need, we need to see he's right there. Uh, <clears throat> let's head to the safe house. Okay. Let's see what customizations is we can do with her now. Oh, that is a beautiful mask. Look at that. Oh, man. Hold on. Can we take the hood down on her outfit? Yes, we can. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, that's a gorgeous mask. Yo. I mean, obviously, we're not going to change her hair. But we could probably change the color of it. Yvonne, I need you in my voice chat. Oops. Hi. Hi. Uh, is my screen share coming through? Uh, hold on. Mm, uh, yes. Okay. 
So obviously we're not gonna, gonna change the hairstyle. But oh my god, now putting it in blonde, you can actually see really all the details. The sides, the sides oh. and the details. But like, yeah. let, let's just let's just a lighter brown, grayish, white slash platinum blonde. Actually, this is probably more platinum blonde. But red, which of course is my Ooh. instinct. The red looks really good on her. It really do. There's the black, which is what she comes with naturally. Mm. Orangish. Mm. A more orangish. More red. Mm. Like yellow, yellow. Yeah. Green. The green ain't bad. A light blue. Dark blue. A lighter green. Like a like a like a lime almost. Pink. Another pink. Thing is the frog dark is blue. Hmm. Oh, that dark blue. <laughs> Light purple. Purple. There's an ombre effect that we're not getting the full effect of. A what? An ombre effect. Uh, you can see it a little bit. It's down in her roots, and, and in I the see bun. It in the bun. It's just yeah. It's not, um... it's not as noticeable. Yeah. And it's a little bit in the braids. You can see it a bit better in the red, as opposed to this one where the braids are actually striped. Mm. And you can see it there too. It looks just like texture, but it does, like you can see a little bit of the thing. It looks, it's much more noticeable in this one, in my opinion, in the red. Then there's this, where it's red to pink or red to purple. Yeah. Blue with, uh, purple low lights and back to the top so this is the one we both were like oh you know but like uh, but, but I also liked like the I also liked the lighter red um the, not the, that one the, the one to the left of it the orange yeah it's you know like a and like yeah a I guess red, red. But like, I, like, I like, like this is Amy red. Pond red. This is Amy Pond red. <laughs> yes, natural redhead red. Well, actually, that's what this is. No, no, it's not. There, well, well, that okay, there's, burn. there's ginger and then there's red. You know, this is what I think of when I think of redhead. And then there's ginger, which is the more, na ginger the most is natural. Redhead. Honestly, actually, this one is probably also would be termed as gin a natural ginger. I know that there's the same thing. I'm just saying I'm I'm drawing a delineative line. Mm. Anyway. So we liked the Auburn. You said you didn't like this one on her? No, I said I did. Oh. None of the other ones? Like, I like them, but you're going through them so fast. Well, keep up then. I can leave. No, it's okay. <laughs> the thing, the thing I, I liked this one the most. Um, and then I also did not mind the, where was it? This one. Yeah. This one and the, the Auburn, I guess you called it. The purple is nice. The green is nice. Um, there's also this one, which is nice. It's kind of like a, uh, a faded auburn. Yeah. Also, can we talk about the physics on her hair? <laughs> um, this one's not bad. Neither is the purple, you know? Yeah. I'm just trying that to with... look for something that makes her skin tone pop. Because, like, for the lighter pinks and stuff, it makes her look washed out. It really does. How's this look on the skin tone? 
it's not bad, but I do think she needs a warmer toned hair. So okay. so far my Auburn the Auburn the is Auburn. winning for me. Yeah. Yeah. I think the Auburn is a good uh good compromise for us. Cause like I don't mind this, I just don't like it for her. Cause I think mm -hmm. it it feels like it clashes right where it hangs in her face, you know. Oh, I got that. So, Auburn, it is. Girl, you just got your hair Whoa. dyed. Okay, I was like, where did the hair go? I'm not messing with her with her makeup, but like. Also, I did note something. There's a difference between piercings and earrings in this game. Really? Yeah, you you can really notice it in the wardrobe thing. So, if you go down to piercings, you only see like that type of stuff, you know. Yeah. But if you go up to earrings, oh, then you've got like. Oh, that's the dangly bits. Noted. Yeah, and I it took me way too long to realize that because like. I was poking around and I'm like, okay, earrings, that's piercings. Wait, where's the one we had? And then I would pop down, the, not that one. Then I would go down to piercings or I would scroll down to piercings and be like, wait, I know I bought like four other earrings here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wrong button. Question, do they, oh, I don't, I didn't buy any. Never mind then. I was gonna say, do I have any Assassin's Creed tattoos now? Probably not, honestly. I mean, that one's close enough. Do not. <laughs> the, the Anarchy A. Do not. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. What do her nails look like? They look like they're black. Oh. They're, her default they... ones are clear. Okay, so. Okay. Black. I mean, I kind of have to. Have to? Yes, I kind of have to give her the red to match the red accents of her clothing. Okay. You know? I mean, we could go Harley Quinn, but like... Nah. Okay. Out Outfits. You're literally not going to put her in anything else, are you? I really like, like, I won't change her actual outfit, but like, I wish I had the ability to swap between these two, like in game without having to come into here. Because like, this is absolutely what I would have her wear just to walk the street. But this is absolutely what I would want her in when she's like going on actual missions and shit. Well, too bad this isn't an Assassin's Creed game. But the thing is, in Assassin's Creed, she would always be wearing this one. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was actually curious with this one. Hold on. Okay, zip up and that. Okay, so that's what the hood looks like pulled up. So I was curious if the, uh, if the uh, jacket had the hood point and it does not. I feel like it'd be a bit too conspicuous. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, I, w I wish, I do not like the physics on the coat. You see how yeah. flowy it is? Yeah, the way they made it way too light for the rest of the, or not light enough. Like, there is, uh, when she was running and the shape that it took, I can understand because of the construction of the garment but it was just very unflattering and yeah I don't know. also if there was any slight wind it kind of billowed it billowed more than what's her face's dress in <laughs> castle in the sky bruh bruh do not don't don't compare this to sheeta's dress Cheetah's anyway. dress made no sense of well, Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> Is it that so intense? It's her default mask though. It's so scary. She's an assassin! Yes, but it's very much. 
Like, it's she's this, going to be... It's this, okay. but with more detail to it. I know, this is amazing. It's this, but with more detail to it. I know, but is she and needing a let gas me, hold, mask? I mean, sometimes, but like, hold on, let me put the... But like, the thing is, with the hood up, this is what it looks like. Okay. With the hood, it looks okay. Without the hood, it looks too much. Agreed. Ooh. You know what I do I'm not voting like, for. I know what you're voting for, but I do not like oh, my one thing about this mask. The way I don't clips. like how the clips through the hair. Mm hmm. Like, they should have. I don't know what they could have done, like, collision wise to make that not happen. But that feels like it's an easy fix, and that makes it feel a bit lazy and a little bit bad. Okay, okay. Plus, this kind of has the same feel as, like, give, uh, trying to remove Wrench's mask from Wrench, you know? No. No. A little bit. You had a whole <laughs> game with Wrench, and he had, like, a monologue about how that mask was part of his identity. Homie, you right. It's not the same. You right. You right. Anyway, I, can you I put do her like in your Hold on a second. I do like how the angle of these these masks meets with the point of the hood. Yes. I do like that a her. lot. Yeah, I know. I'm going to keep her in her default. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep her in her default. No, I meant you're keeping her in her street clothes. Oh, right. True. So, you need to see how the masks interact with that. Which means, the one that you'd rather have is too scary for it! She looks like a oh. Marvel villain! <laughs> You're right! You're right! Okay, hold on. One more for this. Yeah. Yeah, no, if she's going to be in her street clothes, I'm absolutely going to give her that. But like, or, or, or. It can work. <laughs> but no, I'm going to give her that. <laughs> in the street clothes, it's going to be like that. But when, if slash when I put her in her other thing, she's absolutely going to have that other mask. Okay. <laughs> I really wish, so like, Oh, roll! Wrong button. Rot roll. <laughs> Although, actually, now that I think about it, hold on. Oh, the mask overwrites the fucking face mask. That's fucking hilarious. You cannot protect your identity and be COVID free. <laughs> now I could always just have the mask always on. You know? Yeah. Also, I love that. Whenever you're in this the in this wardrobe screen, there's always somebody on the phone in the background, and mm -hmm. every now and then she will make that same sound of uh, that same voice sound you make when I that eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> like occasionally whoever's on the phone will be like eh, eh, and I'm just like Yvonne, <laughs> 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 where are you? It was hilarious because I, okay, so I'm not proud of this, but <laughs> sometime last week, I was up playing this game at like 2, 3 a.m. and I was fading and I was messing around with this and I heard the eh, eh and I'm just like, Yvonne? <laughs> In my tired brain, I'm just like, where'd you come from? But I closed out of Discord. Why are you here? <laughs> I was so confused. Well. All right. 
Oh, while I'm here, let me uh, show off Maddie's whole look. I think it was, I think her name's Maddie. Well, we already showed you. I already showed you off hers, um, and hers. There's our. There's, um, God, I don't remember her name now. There's Sky. There she is. The whole outfit. Yvonne. I'm here. The whole outfit. Just so you get the feel for how amazing she fucking looks in it. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I glitched it. I glitched it. Okay, hold on. She was Sometimes. There we go. Sometimes when I. I've noticed sometimes that if you go in there and change the always on the auto to either always on or always off, sometimes it glitches to something else. So wait, should I keep her hood up? No. The hood was only up if she was going to be. Hold on. Where should I keep the hood up? On? I think leave it down with the coat. Okay. Open. And then mask. I really don't like how it clip how it clips through the hair. I understand. Oh lord. Oh Jesus. Don't you dare. No. No. You know, technically this is an Assassin's Creed mask. This I is Cassandra's helmet from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I know. I know. <laughs> Technically, it's a mask. It's applicable. It's... No. Also, no. Are you my mummy? Uh -huh. Are you my rich mummy? Oh, <laughs> I really like this one. But I need to find the right person. Not for her. I need to find the right person to wear it at all times. Um, someone who basically I'd want the person I would deem as the leader to have this and I don't want any of the DLC operators to have it I want someone main I want someone from the game and I haven't decided who is it bad that I'm literally just staring thinking about how to make this for like a cosplay or something oh I'm sure people have done it because this is one of the ones that they did for advertising this one and this one were both advertised a lot Looks like molded leather, but that's like expensive. Molded leather with uh, elastic strings connecting the jaw to the uh, rest of the skull. I'll put over a, uh, you know, uh, I forget the proper name for those face masks. I love the wax work on it this feels, one. It feels pretty Ghost of Christmas Future. It really does. <laughs> For some reason, this screams kawaii to me. It does. Twat. <laughs> oh, no. This side uh, up with the middle finger. Why does this remind me of Rob from Threadbanger? Like, this is so his fucking style. I hate this one so much. I hate this I one so it. much. Like, I get it because London, but like, oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> Air pilot. Mm. Are you my mummy? Are you why are you my white girl mommy? <laughs> the clipping is insane. It really is. It feels like they were like, oh shit, I forgot to make a mask. Let me just wrap my head in my underwear. <laughs> underwear? The first thing that came to mind. It does kind of look like Underwear like not like a thong obviously, but like granny panties or something No, with that hey, look tick tock huh. 
my the reason why i don't use this one like on the regular is because on from the front on it looks like white clan like clan yeah no I, <laughs> or I clan white and i'm just like i'm just like no <laughs> exactly. just like do you know what you've done game i don't think they have i don't think they do if i'm honest no, i don't mind her in one of these you know yeah like it works Especially because of the clipping. Mm -hmm. Oh god, the clipping! Oh, I love it so much, though! Just do it. Here's the one from... Uh, the, here's Midna's. Or Min, Minna? Midna? What, what whatever her name was. I hear Midna. And I think Twilight Princess. And yeah, I do I'm too. I'm very confused. Now we're gonna keep with this one, cause that one that one came from her DLC. Mm. Uh, her, Mina, uh. Mina, Mina. I was getting the D from the last name, Mina. Lord mercy. That. Why is she wearing that? This is what I. What this is what she's supposed to be wearing. Glad to be out of that. That's wild. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, we were actually going to do some stuff today other than, like, just clothes bullshit, weren't we? Yeah, but you said your main goal was to get the assassin, which you did. Yeah, which I have done, which means I can now... Which means I can now... Dream do that. <laughs> Game over, and end, end of stream. Yeah. Uh... We're an hour early, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what we're going to do. I'm going to go disrupt this sub disrupt some propaganda with my new assassin. I'm going to take my new assassin for the for for a spin. <laughs> now, because Die. potential civilians. Okay, bye. 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 Thanks for popping in, Yvonne. Uh, let's get this drone. I wish that she was the one operator that could just like vertically climb any building. <laughs> Wait, what's the store name? Ah, Rosado. I already have that one unlocked. I'm so sorry, sir. Hiccups! This guy has the hiccups and alerts nearby enemies. Man, that acid reflux is a bitch. Scooby doo wop 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 A tourist! Tourist from where, I wonder? Cayman Island Bank CFO, former CFO. Nice. Spontaneous death! She will randomly die. That makes me fucking... Uh, I... <laughs> uh, okay. I need to get up there somehow. Aha! This is how. You be do wap 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 This was one of my drones because I can't jump. This is a white drone. It can't jump. There we go. So how do I get back in? Hmm. 
Get out of the middle of the road, shall we? Um. Yeah, let's send our eagle drone up here. Well, that did nothing. I see you, game. Okay. You be do what 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 ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da To think that Albion vandalized this advertising to try and control people's thoughts when this perfectly nice corporation paid good money to do that. Justice served, kind of. Control, we're in pursuit. Over. You've done it. All our Westminster targets have been accounted for. Albion's hurting and the people are coming out of their shells. Who in the balls? I do not remember of Parliament here contacting us. Sorry, what? Yeah, I thought it's strange too. <laughs> Says she has an idea how we might rally the people in the borough. You should meet her. What rubbish this is. You're free, man. Control, put out an APW. Target is gone. Oops. Well, hmm. hmm, who's Freya again? 
Oh, the beekeeper. Eh, nah. Nah, no, let's, um... Do this. Before I start a uh, revolution, should I swap her into her assassin gear? Nah. <clears throat> On the, what do you think, Yvonne? Should I swap her to her assassin gear? Yes? Okay, well then in that case, let me just QT over to the safe house. Assassin gear for a revolution. Let's go. I real so like okay, so so for the ones who you can that have the disguises that you can swap into, they are up here and you could just toggle between them at a push of a button. And I really wish you could do that with her. Don't be too careful. You know? I really wish you could do that with her. Just swap at a button push. You're gonna be so mad at this. Oh wait, hold on. No problem. Yep. They probably weren't using it anyway. Okay, you're gonna be so mad at this, Yvonne. You ready for this, Yvonne? Are you ready for this? Yvonne, please tell me you're ready for this. Oops, wrong button. Helps if I'm actually pushing the right ever. buttons, doesn't it? Yes, this is because they're Brits. going for was full outfit assassin badass just taking a second and bouncing the ball
So, I hear you've been looking for DedSec. Wasn't sure you'd come knowing I'm part of the establishment. Or at least I was until Albion dismissed Parliament. I do want to say, what you've done in Westminster is remarkable. You've given the people hope. Don't think we're letting the government off the hook in all this, but what Albion's doing trumps all of that. I couldn't agree more. That's why I contacted you. Albion haven't simply shut down the government. They've sullied the Palace of Westminster, the Great Bell, with their propaganda. Do you understand what that looks like? If you really want to rekindle some of the people's fighting spirit, then restoring the clock tower would go a long way. Normally, I don't care much for empty symbolism, but honestly, I'm sure sick to death of that gaudy display. I'll do it. I knew I could count on you. It will be wonderful to hear the bell once more. An assassin, absolute. A member of the Assassin Brotherhood, absolutely does not there is some security go in the for tower, empty but symbolism. That pose a problem. A big risk. You will be getting to the top. Suggestions? A spider bolt should do the trick. Spider bolt. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Don't let the side down. Better blend in. Nothing. Save it for late. <laughs> Basically, because she's wearing a temple, essentially what seems to be a Templar disguise, she can just walk in anywhere. That's amazing. The path up to the top of the tower is treacherous. All crawl spaces and gantries. More suited to six mechanical legs than two human ones. Ooh. He says this could to an assassin. Fun. He says to an assassin. Okay. Damn. Fine. Let her play with the spider. Yeah, yeah. How's the uh, core keeper going? Uh oh, that's an air raid siren. Have I been spotted? Have I been spotted?
Ah. Fair. Yeah, the threat of fate is very hard to find. Um. I haven't found it yet on mine either. Anything to pick up while I'm in here? No? Okay. Oh wait, yes! chimes again to see that tower the way it's meant to be seen means everything to the people of this borough i must admit i got a bit emotional myself i suppose that damn clock does mean something it represents our parliamentary democracy to have albion deface it the way they did it's clear what they were up to thank you dead sec yeah i haven't been able to figure that out either maybe there's another tool that does it but it also would make sense that uh, whatever potential um, exploit that was there that would allow the thing would it no longer be allowable, you know? Complete borough activities to increase dead sex support. Londoners in defiant boroughs are more willing to join dead sec. Uh, skilled recruits have abilities or weapons that are valuable to DedSec when a burrow becomes defiant, a skilled recruit will be added to the team. Brilliantly done. Westminster will surely rise up against Albion after this. Thank you. Burrow is defiant. Ooh. I didn't mean to swap. Yeah, that Welcome that was to my Dead thought Sector. too. That maybe we are just thrilled to have you. Yeah, thanks. I'm ready to bring real justice where it's needed. Yeah. Brittany sounded like she was in trouble. Oh, you mean yeah, probably. But I walked away. I did the wrong thing. Okay, so him compared to her. What is happening? Hold on. My phone is not charging. Oh, shoot. No wonder. Okay, hold on a second. My phone may be slightly overheating, but this is fine. Okay, he's fit. All right, so you want me to keep him? Oh, it doesn't look like I can get rid of him anyway. Yeah, I don't have the option to retire operative. Well, fine. I like her better, but I get why he would be a, you know. The problem is, I will have to start retiring people I've recruited, you know? 
because I just I can't, you know. Like these two, they are basically identical. But I love them both. I will go ahead and retire Violet. Uh because we've already we've already done some customization on Patricia. And um I'll probably get rid of her and him, these two, at some point. Not yet. Okay. Alright, let's swap back to Darcy. Ms. Darcy. Hello? Someone else slept off work and now it's your turn. Let's do it. All right, so uh, to the mission down here. Shit for brains. Thank you for the input. I think we should all just relax. What an asshole. Not today. Sorry, coming through. I did that because they were causing some problems, you know? All right, did anything else get revealed that I haven't already? I mean, there's these. I'll get those out of side of stream. Uh, Westminster ends about there. Root her, eh, hold off, okay. I don't need this yet. I'm ready. Barrister, no need. Statue, yeah? The GPS history of the spider bomb we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. Good place to hold the world's least pleasant dinner party. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. There's some kind of secret police bunker down here, like a, uh, uh, what's the opposite of a serial killer's basement? Well, <laughs> how was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch, too. All right, and fair enough. Rest well, Yvonne. But what were they working on that led them to the tone bombing? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. The opposite of a serial killer's basement. I mean, <sighs> give me a second. My <sighs> Twitch app on my phone crashed because my phone was overheating. 
There we go. All right. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now, since Albion's crew. The Met is no more. The police brass have already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved. And they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Apparently not. Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. I hope she's not dead. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Oh, good. Alpine is working with Clan Kelly. For a second there, I was worried they couldn't possibly get any worse. It seems like <laughs> Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. But we can't very well allow people to be snatched off the streets. We have to do something. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. Again, all units, we have reports of a hostile in your area. Over. Received. Stand by for further developments. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former dead sec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's dead sec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sec. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. EPC. Well, at the very least, we can assume he's still in the UK. Deportations have backlogged to all hell. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. There's someone here who fancies a chat. Pushing the coordinates now.
disappear. All right, stay still. Always good to change your look. In the balls. I mean, when you're an assassin, you attack where you can, but damn. in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? No problem, Bagley. I'm ready for action. It's my lucky day. I wish I could... You're somewhat reckless. I wish I could fucking, like... Um... Could, um... This teammate has got themselves thrown in the old clink, I'm afraid. Difficult to resist oppression from behind bars. It will be a while before they're available. That's the word I'm looking tip, for. However, why not recruit a barrister actually to the like team? stage a prison I mean, no break, exactly you know? Likes a barrister, that would be they pretty do fucking have cool. Function. They should be able to shorten the jail time of imprisoned operatives. That would be pretty cool if you could just, you know, break, break people out of prison.
Walk away, drug dealer. If you don't stop this, I will. You're meant to stand on! They'll get their come up. I think with someone like you, we could really make a difference. Do you want to be on the right side of history? Are you with DedSec? If you are, I could use your help. I can neither confirm nor deny. How about you tell me what's going on? It's Clan Kelly. People in my neighborhood are disappearing and those fuckers are responsible. That's terrible. There's two of them running the abductions. Police won't do anything about it. Police are useless these days. Don't sweat it. DedSec's got your back. Sounds like it's worth trying. Help me out and I won't forget it. One good turn deserves another. I've got coordinates for the two suspects. Scrape their optic data. That should give us more than enough to incriminate them. I understand. One of the gangsters whose optic data we're looking to scrape is nearby. That's the target. Should be hackable. That's one criminal scraped. Now let's see about their friend. Hmm. Both of their optics are squeaky clean. They're smart. Bollocks. Did I underestimate these goons? Is there a lesson in this about humility and... Oh, no, never mind. I've traced their comms back to a remote server. I'm still amazing. Let's get to snooping, then. Mm. Yeah, we'll send in her.
Reminder, the criminals we're investigating have a server at this location. I understand they can't reveal confidential information over the phone, and that receptionists aren't allowed to, but shit! Do they know how stressful it is to get a bloody call at eight in the goddamn morning that just says a vague, we got your test results. That's the target. Should be hackable. It's physically interactable only. Okay. that up there. Okay, bye. Transport complete. The dead sec was here, Tom. the evidence you need. Even our completely new and police force should be able to do something with it. Absolutely brilliant, mate. Best thing you could do is pay it forward, right? Join DeadSec. Grow the movement. All right, mate. I'm in. Alright, 
So she's now out of whatever. He's the barrister. All right, let's retire him because he's just a waste. <clears throat> he's just a waste of space. All right, let's swap back to her. Oh God, that was badass. Ah! Okay. You're it. Ready to go. All right, now where was I going? What was I doing? I was doing. Oh, it's ten o'clock. Ah. Okay, let's do this one, or at least start this one. And then I'll call it. Turn around and move on. Or else. I didn't mean to do that. Still got it. Let's turn off the hidden blade, please. Okay, we're hauling ass. Control, we're pursuing the suspect. Get up. <sighs> Take a breath. Nope, that's just the way in. Careful now.
much. Get over here. I got this. Drone, do a search on this spot. Blades ready. There we are. Damn. How get up? Where to now? It's praying. Well, will that reach? Probably not. Ooh, ladder. That will help. This wall's a bit drab, isn't it? Let's go with... Let's have a look around! That one. Don't let the side down.
Looks much better, I'd say. This could be dangerous. Well then, moving on. Hmm. Well, I need Patricia. And I bet Patricia is all the way over here. Yep. new operation yeah all right let's bring her back here <clears throat> i know this is taking a lot longer than i thought it would uh, that's not the button i wanted hey, this is Question is, how did it want me to get up here? Not seeing any cranes or window washing things or anything like that. So maybe they just want, maybe they wanted us to grab one of these drones and use it. It's like genuinely, I see no other way up. Question is, where do I get off to go up? Right here. Hey, Matt, thanks for the raid, my dude. How y'all doing? How was the stream? Paywalls? Oof, duh. I bet. Yeah, paywalls are, sh are trash. And we like beefy piranhas. I mean, who doesn't? I'd say this new mechanic, I mean, patch, was a success. Look what you've unlocked. This is a message for Darcy. I know I told Aww. you not to follow me. So I'm willing to bet you did the exact opposite. The Templars have run rampant in this city. They have agents everywhere. Sirs, Albion, even Clan Kelly. I'm marking intel where I can for you, or anyone else in the Brotherhood. We can take them on. We just have to try. Oh, Lucas. You can hear the idealism in his voice. Looks like an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. The two birds being the Templar Order and everyone else we already hate <laughs> all right <laughs> mm. 
So we didn't make as much progress in this game as I hoped. But we now have an assassin. So, you know. <laughs> so, you know, win, 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 win all around. You're it. Ready to go. About bloody time. <sighs> Um, way. But yeah, it's, I know Matt, you just raided in, but, uh, let me see if I can find somebody else who's streaming fucking raid over to them. Uh, let's see here. Who we got? Ooh, we could raid Vanessa Bob. She's doing some of that, uh, Toxic. The Legend of Zelda, the Toxic. So yeah, I think, I think what we'll do is we'll raid, um, some good old Vanessa Bob. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. But, um... The, uh... Oh, excuse me. <sighs> We're gonna wrap it up there. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for, thanks for the raid, Matt. Uh... And, um... Feel free to check out my link tree. Uh, in my link tree, you'll find my YouTube where I put my streams after I stream them, uh, my socials, my Discord. I have a throne, a Patreon, obviously, and so on and so forth. So feel free to check uh, check all those out and uh, support me if you so choose. If not, that's perfectly fine. I won't hold it against you. Um, but. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, I'll be back on Friday. And in the meantime, check you can check out these amazing people up here, which includes Yvonne B and Melador219. I have even more recommendations also in that link tree. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see you back. I'll see you all on Friday. And until then, remember to, ha uh, uh, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I'll see you all next time. Tell Vanessa Bob uh, I say hi. See you all in a bit.